Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C-Square. In this example, we need to find the domain of this function. And I said here, uh, down on the bottom of the slide, the domain of a function, if it's not given to us, like in this case, is the largest set of real number for which the value of the function is a real number. So you have to ask yourself, what numbers I can plug in? Can I plug in zero? And the answer is yes, we can really evaluate f of zero if you want. And we have negative five times zero plus four, which becomes zero plus four, which is four. So when I plug zero, I get a real number out, like I said here, of four. Do I get a real number if I plug one? Of course. If I plug number between zero and one, do I get a real number? Yes. Two, three, whatever number you have in your mind, and I just put positive number, you get a value out. Of course, the same way for the negative number. You get a value out. So the domain of this function is any real number. You can use any real number. Another way to say is all real numbers. And another say to write these two statement is using the interval notation, negative infinity, positive infinity, and both of them uh, parentheses, open interval. You can look to this problem graphically. If you have a graphing calculator, you can put it in and you notice this is the graph and you notice I can put any value of x, I'm going to get something out. So the domain, as I said, is uh, all real numbers. Also, you can look in the table if you want, and you're going to see, uh, depend how your calculator is set up, you're going to see uh, all real number. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.